And new tonight as the community of Greasy sifts through the destruction that was left behind by Monday's tornado. Many are hoping to be better prepared for the next go around. Two Works for You reporter Darcy Jackson is in Greasy tonight with the new push for a life saving device. Darcy. We got really lucky this time. The familiar aftermath of a twister. This isn't the first time a tornado came within sight of here where we're standing. In the last few years, there's been another one that comes just a little bit to the south. Another brush with fate that spared the Cherokee community of Greasy, who had cell phones to thank for the warning. A lot of people, they're watching before the storm, and then, you know, your battery only lasted so long. Luckily, no one was hurt when that EF1 funnel rolled through town Monday night, but with no warning system in town to speak of, a lot of people feel this destruction represents their vulnerability, and state commissioners agree. Weather can change in a heartbeat. Um, people can be at a ballpark or concert or, you know, somewhere where they need to be have a plan. As plans begin anew for the local community center, thoughts move to better protection. More shelters would be nice now that this happened. You know, it, you think about stuff like that now. And a possible siren that could save lives the next time Mother Nature sets her sights on Greasy. It's 2017 now. It's not the old days anymore. And these acts of nature, acts of God, are beyond our control. But we do have control over modern technology. In Adair County, Darcy Jackson, Two Works for You.